When you open up Excel, you'll land on the start page. And I hope you like this experience. When I worked in Microsoft, I led the team that designed this new interface. Up in the top left hand corner, you have the option to kick off a new blank workbook. So what is a workbook? Well, in Microsoft Excel, an Excel file is referred to as a workbook. Over on the right hand side, you also have a collection of templates that you can start from. So maybe you want to pull together a monthly budget or maybe a weekly chore schedule. You could look through these different templates to see if there's one that matches your needs. Over here, you could also explore more templates. When I click on that, here we see a broader collection of templates. And here too, you could also search for different templates if you don't see what you're looking for in this initial set. To go back to the previous screen on the left hand side, let's click on home. Down below here, I can see all of my recent Excel files, so I could quickly navigate back. Now, let's say there's an Excel file that I use all the time, this top secret workbook. I want to be able to get back to this quickly. When I hover over it, here you see different options. I could share it or here I can pin it. I can click on this pin icon. And when I do that here, when I click into pinned, I see that workbook. Over here, I could also see all of the different workbooks that have been shared with me. Now, let's say there's a specific workbook that I have in mind, but maybe it's not one of my recent workbooks. Up here, I can also search for that workbook. Over on the left hand side, we can also click on open. And here, once again, we see that recent list of files. We could also see files that have been shared with me. But here we could also open files that are stored in the cloud. Maybe you have a file on OneDrive or SharePoint. Now you might not see SharePoint, that's for work or school accounts, but you may see a set of these. And down at the very bottom, you could also navigate to locations on your PC to open a file. To follow along with this course, navigate to where you downloaded the sample workbook and then open that up.